What's going on there YouTube and welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies. Today, we're going to jump back over to Marvel Comics and continue our coverage over Ed Brubaker's run on Daredevil. This time, we pick up with Lady Bullseye. That is the name of this storyline because this is the first book that Lady Bullseye appeared in Marvel Comics, a new villain for Daredevil to fight against. And the question is, who is she working for? What is her plan? Well, we're going to find out right here because this is the book that begins the final process, the final arc of Ed Brubaker's run on Daredevil. So if you do like today's comic book video, hit that like button down below and subscribe. But here we go. So in the first page, we get introduced to the new villain in Daredevil's life. This is her first time being in Marvel Comics, and her name is going to be Lady Bullseye which honestly doesn't sound that bad. How she came into New York to basically hunt some people down for some plan. Before we can learn more about her plan, we have to pick up with the star of the book, of course being Matt Murdock, as he is with Dakota North, who is a private investigator that works for Matt Murdock and Foggy Nelson. Last video, she was shot because she was digging into a case that was basically covering some huge government stuff. Go check out out last video. Either way, they are meeting up with Danny Rand, who we all know is the Iron Fist. Of course, Iron Fist and Daredevil have a close bond since they have fought with each other so many times. Also, when Matt Murdock was in jail, in the beginning of Ed Brubaker's run on Daredevil, Danny Rand pretend to be Daredevil hoping it would get Matt out of jail. Either way, they are here to basically get some magical chi energy to help heal up Dakota North's injury a whole lot quicker than it is right now. When Matt Murdock and Dakota North are leaving the building, well that is when we see that Lady Bullseye is watching over them, like she is studying them, but also trying to learn when it will be the perfect time to kill them or maybe just put her plan into action. We don't know what the plan is yet, of course. But this is her keeping her distance and thinking about how she is going to make her first move. Then we have a quick few pages that tell us about the origin of Lady's Bullseye, or maybe what motivates her to be what she is right now. Now, it is not a full section that truly goes deep into the origin. It is just that we learn that she was one of many women that were being sold on the black market. For of course we know why, except before she could have been sold, you have the original bullseye come in and kill everyone. Of course, this man does it in style. Well, I guess in style for Lady Bullseye. Because while he was killing all of these gangsters, it kind of inspired her to be like him. So after everyone is dead, she then goes on to grab the key from one of the dead bodies to unlock her cage and goes on to say that no one is ever going to touch her again. We get another couple more pages that are showing us Matt Murdock in Dakota North are out in the park let me tell you now this is the moment where it establishes that these two are kind of beginning to like each other they don't show them kissing or anything big just how they look and talk to each other before anything can happen matt runs off to beat up some crooks because his enhanced senses are telling him that something is happening nearby while matt is doing that you have lady bullseye out there doing the same thing making you think that maybe she has some kind of good in her of course she is not good at all and she actually kills one of the two guys here the death of this guy is going to play a small role down the road. Either way, she kills one of these thugs and runs away. Jumping back to Matt Murdock and Dakota North, I warn y'all, the last section was them starting to like each other. The reason why I say that earlier is because we pick up with the two of them kind of doing some meditating and him trying to center her chi to help her heal up. Skip a few panels, 
while they are talking to one another and getting closer and closer to one another, bodies start touching each other and they start kissing one another while we know where that is going to lead into here in a few more panels. That then leads us into the book telling us who Lady Bullseye is working for and of course it is the Hand. She is working for one of the many leaders of the Hand. This leader's name is Lord Harachi. I hope I said that correctly. They talk about going after two different characters, one of them being Danny Rand, the Iron Fist. The second one is Black Tarantula, who we met before, but we were shown that he was killed in the first story by Ed Brubaker on Daredevil. Of course, he is alive again, and it will explain why he's alive again. And Black Tarantula is just an incredible fighter, and also the superhuman abilities like strength, agility, and durability to a degree. Either way, those two are the current targets, so she must take care of them, but leave Murdoch alone for now. They don't want Murdoch to know the hand is working on doing something. Where Lady Bullseye says, don't worry, she has something to keep Matt Murdock preoccupied for a while. The Han is a ninja clan in the current version of a pseudo-religious cabal worshipping the demon known as the Beast. The clan is made up of several different fractions which are each led by a fraction leader. Like this one here is led by Lord Harachi. Now to close on the first chapter, you have the book show us that Matt and Dakota North did the thing, which of course Matt feels guilty about because at this point in Marvel Comics, Matt is married to Milia Donovan, who is in a mental institution because she went crazy thanks to a villain known as Mr. Fear who gave her some fear toxin. Before he can even think about that, he gets today's paper and it says that Daredevil is wanted for murder, which of course the thug that died by Lady Bullseye is the one they're saying he killed. We don't get the chance to see Matt Murdock freak out because in the opening of the second chapter, Dakota North wakes up and she is freaking out because she knows what she and Matt have done. Also because knows that Matt is married. For her, it's an all time low. So she goes down to see if Matt is home and she is calling out for him, but he is not answering. Well, the reason why he is not answering is because by the time she had woken up, it had been maybe an hour and the police had arrived to arrest Matt Murdock. Because remember, in our last few videos, the world knows that Matt Murdock is Daredevil. He has done a lot of things trying to make the world believe that he is not, but most of the world still believes. So when word got out that Daredevil killed someone, well, police came for Matt Murdock. Dakota North has to run and call the rest of the gang to fix this. Then the book ties into the idea of Secret Invasion. For you out there who don't know, Secret Invasion was the story that for a few months or years, Scrolls, the alien race, used their powers to kidnap different people from the world and used their powers to change their appearance to pretend to be the people they have kidnapped as a way to invade the Earth. But either way, the first person they kidnapped was Elektra, except when they took her and replaced her, she was the leader of the Han organization. So when they found out she was a fake, it led to a war between the different fractions of the hand, one being Lord Harachi. We see that Lord Harachi has summoned Lady Bullseye to his temple for a special mission. This was only weeks ago. In this section, we learn that there could be another target besides Iron Fist and Black Tarantula, that there is some old man that Lord Harachi wants Lady Deathstrike to kill. Who? We don't know, but the first part of the plan is for her to go to New York. Skipping back to the present day, we see Lady Bullseye and some random assassin talking about giving someone a test. Who? Well, that person is one of the three targets and that person is Black Tarantula, who is out of prison, trying to be a good guy. But right now, 
He is in his apartment chilling, except that is when the hand out of nowhere attacks him. It is a small group, but this is the test Lady Bullseye was talking about with the random ninja. So while Black Tarantula is fighting against this group of the hand, Lady Bullseye is there watching this fight, seeing the skills of Black Tarantula. Long story short, she says he is a good fighter but lacks in a few areas. Once Black Tarantula wins the fight, Lady Bullseye leaves without Black Tarantula knowing that she was even there. Getting back to Matt Murdock who is being held in an interrogation room because Detective Klutz and the DA are trying to figure out if one, if it is true Matt Murdock is Daredevil and two, could it be true that he murdered a thug? Has he gone too far? Because it wasn't too long ago that Matt Murdock was going around brutally beating down on random thugs. That was in our last video. But either way, you have Dakota North come by and give Matt Murdock an alibi, saying Matt Murdock and her were together all night long. We know why. But Matt gets out and while Matt and Dakota are leaving, he shows that he is upset that she told the police that they were together. So she asks if they can talk. Before we can see them talk, well we have to pick up with the other target of Lady Bullseye had on her list. So of course it is Danny Rand, the Iron Fist. He is leaving his building because something to mention is that Danny Rand has some money, or he still does, because he has a company. Except Danny Rand gets the same test that Black Tarantula had gotten, with a group of the Hand Ninjas arriving at the scene to fight him. Lady Bullseye and her friend are watching Iron Fist from a far distance, so Iron Fist won't know that she is there. Either way, Iron Fist is able to handle these guys because he knows how to fight these guys. Then we get the chance to go back to Matt Murdock talking to Dakota North about what had happened between them as they walked home from the police department. Of course, it is Matt telling her that it is his fault what happened between them. Also that she should have not told the police they were together last night, afraid that someone will tell their secret to the whole entire world. Of course, Dakota North tells him it was an accident and it shouldn't be looked at as some terrible moment. But when they arrive at the door of the home of Matt Murdock, well, the door is unlocked. Except when they walk inside, well, they are greeted by Master Izo, a new character we are going to learn about over the next few chapters. Except we see that Master Izo had brought Black Tarantula all tied up. So a lot of questions are being dropped on us with the first two chapters. In the opening of the third chapter, well, you have Lord Hirachi tell Lady Bullseye that he is upset she framed Matt Murdock for murder because now we learn that they are planning to give him some kind of gift, but he must not know they are coming for him, that everyone who is being targeted is for other reasons that will lead back to Matt Murdock. The question is what? Well, well, we learn what that gif is down the road. Getting back to Matt Murdock, Dakota North, Black Tarantula, and our new character, Master Izo, who basically tells him the reason why he is here. That for one, the hand is back. Two, that basically they are coming after Matt for some reason and it has to do with Elektra because they found out she was a scroll. Finally, that Master Izo has some kind of connection to the hand. Of course, he doesn't say what the connection is and also Master Izo is some kind of big drinker and looking for some drinks. You then have Danny Rand walk in and basically tell Matt Murdock that hey, he was attacked by the hand as well, which then raises more questions for the gang because now they want to know why in the world Iron Fist is being targeted by the hand. Then you have Danny Rand tell us that he knows about Master Izo and how he is one of the best masters in the world. There are stories that make this man a legendary person in the martial arts world. 
That is when Dakota North gets a call from Detective Klutz who tells her that something big is happening in the city. And Matt, of course, with his enhanced hearing can tell that something is up. So this leads into Dakota North going to the crime scene that Detective Klutz had called her about. And of course, the person who said they saw Daredevil kill those thugs that he's being framed for has now died. So now someone seems to be clearing house and then coming after daredevil also daredevil is there at the crime scene but watching from a far distance and using his enhanced hearing to hear about what is going on which makes him leave and wonder if this has something to do with the hand as well except after he leaves of course he runs into no other than lady bullseye and this is his first time ever meeting her he is like what in the world is going on here and who in the world are you she tells him that her name is lady bullseye and begins to fight him while they are fighting, Daredevil can tell she is not even scared to fight him and the way she is breathing, how she is moving, she is making it hard for Daredevil enhanced senses to keep track of her movement and making it hard for him to fight her, which of course makes him wonder if she is calling herself Lady Bullseye as some kind of tribute to the original Bullseye, which of course she tells him he will not learn anything about her and then tells him there is more to come with her being here. That is when you have a group of ninjas come at Daredevil and of course begin to attack him. Now, unlike Black Tarantula and Iron Fist where they were able to beat their group of ninjas, Daredevil is unable to beat his. Luckily for Daredevil, Master Izo was nearby and able to defeat the group of ninjas for Daredevil. Lady Bullseye leaves and you have Master Izo tell Matt Murdock that he needs to stop and listen to him so Matt can understand what is going on here. Except Matt ignores Master Izo because to Matt Murdock, there is no reason for him to listen to Master Izo. The reason why Matt is not trying to listen to Master Izo is also the fact that the hand is going after people that have some kind of connection to Matt Murdock. Matt Murdock is afraid that the hand could go after his wife. Milia Donovan, except when Matt Murdock gets to the mental institution to see his wife, well, you have the front receptionist tell Matt that his wife is no longer there. The reason why is because Milia was checked out by her parents. This is now bringing in another problem for Matt to deal with in this story. At the same time, you have Master Izo and Black Tarantula break into some hidden base that was owned by the Hand. They take this group down. The reason why they are here is because Master Izo knows there could be some important information they can use to help them figure out the Hand move. They found some photos of the second white tiger the second white tiger was angela del toro and the powers of the white tiger comes from the white tiger amulet the reason why she is important is because she first appeared in daredevil volume 2 number 58 it was made by brian michael bendis the man who was writing daredevil before this book either way she got her white tiger amulet from her uncle hector alaya who died and passed on the amulet to her. Once she had received the amulet, Matt Murdock helped her decide what to do with the amulet, which of course she became a hero. That then leads us into seeing her getting stabbed by the hand and she dies right there. In the opening of the fourth chapter, we open up with Matt Murdock getting mad at the fact that Millie's parents came in and took their daughter home with them, which makes sense because Matt Murdock didn't even bother to tell Millie's parents that their daughter is in a mental institution. So the next few moments between Matt Murdock and Millie's parents is going to be a court battle to see who has the rights over Millie. Is it her husband or is it her parents? Well, they are going to have discussion about this right now. 
Before we can see that lovely argument, you have the story tell us that Master Izo has sent Black Tarantula out to find some more clues on what the hand is doing and also hope to save White Tiger. Now, Master Izo, well, he is getting his drink on and making Danny Rand pay for all of his drinks. Except, this is the moment we learn why Master Izo knows so much about Matt Murdock. That Master, Master Izo was the one who trained Daredevil's Master Stick. Stick was the character that taught Daredevil how to fight, but Master Izo was the one who trained Stick. Except, Master Izo couldn't tell Matt about that since Matt doesn't want to listen and keeps running off without him. Getting back to the big argument about Milia's situation where you have the two sides continue to argue who has the right to Milia, where her parents told the judge that Matt is dangerous to have around Milia, which makes sense because again, it is Matt's fault that Milia is even in a mental hospital. Now, Milia's parents did get themselves a lawyer to help them win this case. Maki Masumoto, I know I just butchered that, please forgive me. And when she begins to talk, Matt is thinking that this lady could be Lady Bullseye in disguise. But again, the way she talks and walks makes it hard for him to figure out. Either way, the worst part of this meeting is when you have Dakota North walk in thinking it would be a good idea for everyone to have a drink. Except Milia's mother begins to freak out because we come to find out that Milia parents had also hired a private investigator to follow Matt, which that private investigator was able to get pictures of Matt and Dakota North doing the dirty that night. So yeah, it does get out of the world here. Then we finally have to jump back to Black Tarantula because he's out trying to find White Tiger since he knows that she is a target of the hand, except when he finds her, well, she's alive. Which is confusing because when we saw her moments ago, she was killed by the hand, but here she is now. She's alive and well, fighting against some members of the hand. So you have Black Tarantula jump in to help out White Tiger, but right when they begin to fight together, well, that is when we see White Tiger eyes are red and she is about to attack Black Tarantula. But getting back to the new problem that Matt Murdock has going on, where you have Foggy Nelson telling Matt Murdock that he needs to let Milia Donovan go. Because if they go to actual court with everything Milia's parents have, they will lose easily. So it is Foggy Nelson telling Matt Murdock to give them everything they want. Starting with the idea of Matt Murdock filing for divorce and leaving Milia alone. Of course, Matt Murdock says no, but then you have Foggy Nelson bring up the fact that Matt has already let her go when he put her in the mental hospital. Why is he still holding on to her so tight when Matt knows what Milia's parents are doing would actually help her? Also, we find out that the lawyer Milia's parents had hired, well, she's of course was Lady Bullseye. So it is her making Daredevil's life even harder than usual, but she also kills the ninja guy that was following her around because he feels like she is portraying the hand since she is not following orders. Either way, she says she is and everything is coming together. To close on the fourth chapter, you have Matt go home trying to call Dakota North so they can talk about what had happened since, of course, she got embarrassed while being in that meeting. Except Dakota North does not want to talk. She wants to be left alone, which makes Matt Murdock upset because, again, he has hurt another person in his life. Sadly, Matt Murdock does not have the time to actually think about that because when he walks into his home, he is confronted by White Tiger, Black Tarantula, and some members of The Hand. The last chapter begins to close the story down with a whole lot of fighting because 
We pick up with Master Izo and Iron Fist coming in to save Matt Murdock. So now the fighting between the two sides is actually even now. Except while Master Izo and Iron Fist are actually being able to fight and kick some butt, Matt Murdock is struggling and the question is why is this man struggling so much? Matt tell us with his thoughts that because he has so much happen in the last few days, it is clogging his mind and confusing him why the hand is trying to come after him so much. So you have Matt try to run upstairs to get away just for a moment. Except of course you have Lady Bullseye there as well. Except when she comes in and kicks Matt in the face, she states that Matt is still not ready to receive his gift which we don't know what that means but before she's able to do anything else to him you have master Izo come in and save matt once again which gives matt the chance he needs to gather himself and continue to fight against lady bullseye so this fight continues on the rooftop you have iron fist rejoin the battle so we get into a big battle between the two sides all over the rooftops of hell kitchen Except then you have Master Hirochi appear, the leader of this fraction of the hand, and he calls Master Izo a traitor. So maybe the connection between Master Izo and the hand could be that Master Izo used to work for the hand, or maybe control the hand at one point. We don't get to know, but apparently Master Izo then tells Master Hirochi that Hirochi is wrong about Matt Murdock. What is that? We still don't know. But we learn actually what the gift is after Black Tarantula and White Tiger knock out Iron Fist and they leave him alone. You have Lady Bullseye mention that her in the hand goal is to make Matt Murdock be the leader of the hand. She doesn't flat out say it, but reading between the lines, you can tell that is what she means. Also that she begins to mention that they had to remove different people so that he can have a clear pathway and a mind to accept the gift. Of course, Daredevil says no and tries to fight Lady Bullseye once again, but you have her knock out Daredevil and leave. So the fight ends and we pick up two days later where we pick up with Matt Murdock and Foggy Nelson continue to talk about Milia's parents. Foggy Nelson tells Matt to let her go, but Matt Murdock says he can't. But when he says that, well, Dakota North walks by the office and hears what the man she thought she liked and cared for said. So it hurts her feelings. Then we pick up with Lady Bullseye and Black Tarantula on an airplane traveling somewhere. You have Black Tarantula ask what they are going to do to convince Matt Murdock to become the new leader of the hand. Well, you have Lady Bullseye say that they're going to use Plan B, that their Plan B is in Spain. And this leads us into the last story by Ed Brubaker, but this is where we are going to end today's video. So please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's video.